Hey everybody, greetings from the dank basement. This is your wicked Uncle Squinty, Paul Shellbetter, with traveling tips for snuff takers. Um, depending on where you're traveling to, it might be tough to buy nasal snuff locally. And so you'll want to carry some of your favorite stash with you. And sometimes that involves things like airplanes and TSA, if you're in the United States, uh, security checkpoints elsewhere, uh, airline use, and lots of other concerns. <clears throat> so let's talk about those things today. I'm kind of pumped. I'm going to be taking a trip here shortly. I'll be abandoning you in YouTube land for a little while. And uh, I have to be thinking about this stuff, too. Nasal snuff and traveling. Well, first of all, remember that nasal snuff is a relatively unknown thing in the larger world. we got a little group of aficionados here. A lot of old schoolers that like to harken back to the 18th and 19th centuries. Uh, a lot of people that are looking for smoking alternatives so they can still enjoy tobacco where they sit and drink or where they sit and eat. Um, there's lots of reasons, good reasons, for choosing nasal snuff. And so, but much of the world really doesn't know about it yet. And that would include your transportation safety administration, uh, your uh, customs people, uh, your police officers, uh uh, curious and frightened and nervous fellow passengers, uh, all kinds of concerns. So the unfamiliarity of it <clears throat> means you may have a little explaining to do. It might be useful to know the name of this in the language of the country you're going to. Uh, it's a very old thing. Nasal snuff has been around the Western world for many, many, many years, uh, 300 and some, and in the Eastern world, probably even longer. Uh, there's Thai snuff recipes that have been around for ages, so it's not totally unknown, but you might have to explain what you're carrying, because if I was a police officer and I encountered somebody with a 25-gram tin of a suspicious brown powder that I had never seen before, uh, I might ask some pretty serious questions. To that end, when I travel with snuff, I limit it... Uh, First of all, I limit it for tobacco quantities that you can legally get through customs in any given country without having to pay an exorbitant duty. Even if they determine it's a tobacco product, they will still tariff it by weight. And many countries have a limit that you can, you can carry some, you know, have a couple packs of cigarettes, whatever, when you go into their country. But beyond that, you'll pay a duty. So two or three containers and then very important. Keep it in the container. I traveled to Costa Rica a while ago, and I didn't have any problems. But when I returned, I thought to myself, yeah, maybe the three different bullets and the two different snuff boxes were not a great idea. Maybe travel with the factory package. Uh, now, this can cause a problem through metal detectors, obviously. It is. It's a metal container. Um, so I would say when passing airport security, you might want to just keep this right out in the open and be ready to say, yeah, it's my tobacco. That's all you have to say. It's nasal snuff. It's my tobacco. Uh, foreign countries, uh, as I said, know how to say the word snuff in that country's language. Uh, it's an old custom, so people will know and uh, do it that way. Um, Another thing, I would certainly avoid transporting the white powder snuffs. And I don't care how it's packaged or how it's marked. Um, there's just too much hypersensitivity about illegal drugs, especially when you're crossing national borders. Um, I just think common sense would tell you not to do that, so don't. Um, snuff accessories... This is something, and I've alluded to this before in other videos, suspiciously like drug paraphernalia. I mean, it's not a leap of imagination to know that you could use a snuff bullet for taking cocaine or a snuff snorter. Uh, so if you're going to travel with any snuff accessories, you might want to limit it to a spoon, a very small spoon, something that you could pack in your uh, checked luggage in your nail care kit. Um, seriously, you don't want to arouse suspicion. You just don't need the hassle. I mean, you're innocent, but do you really want to take all that time dealing with customs officers, airport security officers, maybe cops, to explain that you are using a legal form of tobacco in their country as well as in yours? 
So when you travel, I guess, be discreet, be ready to explain, pretty much carry it right out in the open. That would be my advice. Now, your opinion may very well vary from mine. If you have a difference of opinion, I want you to post a reply video, or I want you to talk to me in the comments section. But I think if we're going to continue to spread the gospel of the snuff, how delicious it is in the nose, how refreshing, how wonderful the nicotine, now be it slowly released and gently absorbed by the body with a minimum of nitrosamine exposure, that there's no combustion, so there's no carbon monoxide and no secondhand smoke. Hallelujah. Because in our hands, in our sweet God-given hands, we have the rape. That's how you say it in Spanish. You've got the schnuffpulver. That's how you say it in German. Yes, you've got the snuff. God's good gift to the tobacco enthusiast. Amen. Can I hear an amen? Don't do what I just did on a plane. Ever. I just called to say I'm snuffing. I just called. Everybody got a boom, 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 boom. My nasal snuffing. Everybody got a boom, boom, boom. A tobacco huffing. Everybody knows what they're doing now. Everybody knows what they need. And everybody knows what they're drinking and smoking when they're doing that tobacco seed. Everybody likes to... Nasal snuffing. Who's the blow that goes up your nose that replaces the nicotine you used to smoke? Snuff! Right on. You say this snuff is a bad mother? Shut your mouth. I'm talking about snuff. Well, you can whiff it. It's a complicated blend, but no one appreciates it but Squinty. Snuff, Squint. Do -do -do. Do -do. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the real me? Have ya? Have ya? Have you seen the real me? Have ya? When I get that feeling, I need snuff, you will healing. Snuffy healing is good for me. Snuffy healing is good for me. Boom 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 buddy buddy boom 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 buddy buddy boom 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 Ever since my baby left town boom 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 to myself and chowing down boom 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 and all the fast food joints in town boom 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 from Sandwich King to Burger Clown boom 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 Sick and tired of bitching, and I need something somebody else's kitchen. I need somebody to cook with me. Help me find that recipe. I need help, no ifs, ands, or buts. Peel my carrot and shell my nuts. My diet ain't enriching, and I need something somebody else's kitchen. Boom, 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 butter, butter, boom. I gotta pound that meat and marinate it. Boom, 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 boom. If I had it in the last month, I made it myself. Pull the pork and jerk the chicken. Spice is saucy, hot as the dickens. My nerves are always twitching, and I need some somebody else's kitchen. Boop, 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 butter, butter, boop. I'm sick and tired of dining all alone. Stop by Popeye on the way home. Dick the breasts and thighs and toss off the bone. Then take down the bottle and get myself stoned. My nerves are always twitching, and I need some somebody else's kitchen. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I've had to pull that meat to marinate it. If I had it in the last month, I made it myself. Pull the pork and 
Chug the chicken. Hey, spicy saucy. Licking. I'm sick and tired of bitching, and I need some somebody else's kitchen. Doop doop doop. Bop bop. Buddy buddy bop. Well, I found somebody to cook for me. Uh huh. Sweet and Cajun as she can be. She give me crawfish pie and etouffee. I get it hot and saucy three times a day. It's all about cooperation. And I got some somebody else's kitchen. You know what she's gonna do? <laughs> she's gonna put my meat and marinate it. Yeah. If I'm having in the last month, we'll make it together. Yeah. Pull that pork and jerk that chicken. I don't know where the lyric goes from there. But I, it's all about nutrition. I got some somebody, need some somebody, want some somebody else's kitchen. Pop, 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 pop.